Hey guys, Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com ready to get started today. We are going to be talking about Facebook and Facebook likes and I know a lot of people out there want to buy them. There's there's a good way and a wrong way to buy them. I'm going to talk about that a little later and the differences, the pluses and minuses of buying Facebook ads and all that. So as always guys, uh, we got Recky D just joined. Hey Recky, how you doing? I am shooting this on Periscope and as always, I'm going to be putting it up on my YouTube channel and out on the blog and video podcast, Facebook, all that good stuff. I've been playing around the last couple days with thinking of writing an app to do this because one thing I wanted to do is show the chat window and the hearts when I do get them. I don't get too many, so guys, tap that screen if you can do it and send me some hearts so I can see it in the video. I think the video, um, by recording it a little differently, will turn out a lot uh, better on Periscope. So I plan on doing that for this one for you guys um, who are watching what would be the replay. You're not a live viewer on Periscope. So Facebook likes, what do we do with them? So you've gotten started on Facebook and one thing I see some clients doing once in a while is go out and they go out and buy Facebook likes. So what do I mean by that? I mean they go into Google and they type in buy Facebook likes and you know what you can probably buy a thousand Facebook likes for just five bucks so you can go to a site like Fiverr pay them five bucks and within a day or two all of a sudden your Facebook page magically has a thousand likes so that's pretty cool right five bucks you can get a thousand likes what's what's the advantage of doing that and what's the disadvantage of buying likes you can buy them through Facebook too and that's a little different I'm gonna talk to you about that in a second but when you're when you're buying likes off a website and you come in and all of a sudden, lo and behold, you have uh, a thousand likes on your page and you didn't have any the day before, you just got a thousand new likes, bam. The, the good thing about doing that is that um, it's just that you got a thousand likes. So the benefit of doing it is when people see your page, you have that social proof of a thousand likes or maybe 10,000 likes. So by buying likes for three or four dollars per thousand and you go buy a bunch of them the, the good thing you get is you get the social proof right away that a lot of people like your uh, Facebook page and that's really important for a lot of people now that's the good news so you spend a little bit of money you get a whole bunch of likes that's that's what you get for the money where does it hurt you how does that hurt you with Facebook well it hurts you with Facebook like this you got these you got these thousand likes right now you go to post something to your Facebook page and guess what none of these thousand people give a rip about your Facebook page they somehow got put on there they may even be dead accounts and you know what nobody likes your post nobody shares your post nobody even really looks at your post and you know what Facebook says your post sucks and it doesn't show it to anybody your posts get shut down right away so if you have a thousand likes and you've grown them organically normally when you post a picture or a video you're gonna get somewhere around 50 to 100 people are actually gonna see that Facebook throttles it quite a bit but if you go out and you buy your likes and these are just a thousand like bought likes off Fiverr like Four people are gonna see them nobody's gonna see it because Facebook's really smart at knowing that these people aren't interested in your page and when they see your post they don't engage with it and Facebook mistakenly thinks you have a crappy post and just stop showing it so if all you want out of your Facebook page is the social proof of a lot of likes then sure go on Fiverr go buy 10,000 of them for 50 bucks and you got a Facebook page with 10,000 likes just know when you post to it, your posts forever will go nowhere because they will get no engagement. So the second way of buying likes is through Facebook and through their ad system. Now, I'm not a big fan of this. I don't even know why somebody would do it, but they offer it. They offer it. And I've seen clients who've gone out there and paid 50 cents to a dollar just for a like. So they spend a hundred dollars and get 50 to a hundred likes. And, and they're wondering like, what good does that really do me? And I say, great question. What good does that really do you to have 100 likes on your page? You know, I've talked about it a lot. You got 100 likes on your page. You know, three, four, five, ten 10 people might see your status update when, when you post to it. So Facebook's not, not really being very fair with people, uh, for business owners, with the people that have liked their page. 
Here's what I recommend you do, guys. As far as likes are concerned, I wouldn't spend a lot of effort worrying about them or trying to build them up. When you run Facebook ads the right way, like I show you, and you're doing it for a goal, one of the side effects that happens is people end up liking your page anyway. So even though you're over here trying to, uh, trying to get opt-ins and, and grow your business, people still end up liking your page and it's kind of like a nice dividend effect. So some people like your page and as you're running ads, you're, you're building up a lot of likes. And if you're already posting content, why the hell not post it to Facebook? You will get it in front of some people. But the thing that uh, frustrates me is when people sit there and constantly try to just build up likes and try to game Facebook by getting their post to get more organic reach. And they, they really forgot the big picture of what they're trying to do with their business. So anyway, guys, my name's Brian Fleming, again, from buildingsocialproof.com. Uh, you can go head on over there if you want. And I've got a pretty cool seven-day social media marketing strategy you can sign up for. And I show you, it's pretty heavily based on Twitter. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty heavily based on Twitter. If you want to build up followers on Twitter, Go sign up for that thing because in a couple emails, I'll show you all the free tools and stuff uh, that you can use uh, to build up your Twitter following. And then I get into it with Facebook and some of the others. So that's about it, guys. Just wanted to chat about Facebook likes and I will be posting this to YouTube and all that other stuff. And hey, I had to wear my U of M shirt here today because they're playing in three and a half hours. First game of the year, Utah. I bet my uncle from Utah, 20 bucks, we're going to win. I mean, hey, we got a $60 million coach. He's got to win, right? He's got to win. So we'll see. Um, I will broadcast again, maybe Friday, probably Monday, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.